Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 second gaming in today's video we're going to be talking about the supposed season 15 legend catalyst may actually be someone that we've already met in the apex universe before. And that someone is actually Crypto Sister Mila. Now I know that that does sound a little bit crazy, but trust me there's actually a fair bit of evidence pointing towards that. So we're going to be breaking that all down and by the end of this video you guys will understand everything. Now guys, I know that we've all been playing, just messing around, having a good time, and then you happen to hit the sickest clip only to realize that you forgot to hit record. Well, with our new sponsor, Outplayed, that will never be an issue again. Outplayed is the ultimate video capturing app for games. While playing, the app automatically captures your best moments and biggest plays. But you can also record manually with some simple hotkeys. Outplayed also has a built-in video editor, so you can simply trim your clips right inside the app and then you can easily share them straight to Discord, YouTube, or anywhere else you may want to send it. Click the link in the description, download it for yourself today, and stop missing those amazing moments. But okay, jumping into things now, some of you may not know who Catalyst is. Well, a while ago, back in March, we did actually get a huge leak of all of the legends that Respawn is working on. Those legends included Newcastle, Vantage, Uplink, which Respawn did confirm is cancelled, and we also got to see Catalyst. Now, we've already done a video breaking down all of Catalyst's abilities, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, go check that out after this one. But all of Catalyst's abilities revolve around the use of ferrofluid, so it means that she had to have been experimented on. So, how could Crypto Sister be this person? Well, back before Crypto joined the Apex games, him and his sister technically worked for the Syndicate. Crypto was a computer engineer for them, and then one day, Crypto discovered an algorithm that could predict the winners of the Apex games. The Syndicate then found out that he found that out, and then went to confront him. When he escaped though, they kidnapped his sister and then pinned her, in quotation marks, death on him. That's why he's an outlaw, on the run, broke into the Apex games, hacked the system, and then ended up joining them because he's still looking for his sister. So she was with the Syndicate for a very long time, and that gives them plenty of opportunities to mess around and experiment with her to make her control the ferrofluid. fluid. You guys gotta remember, the Syndicate are not nice people, they will do stuff like this. So that explains the how, but now we need the why part, and there's actually quite a bit of evidence. So starting off with characters that have multiple voice lines in trailers always come back in some way. That is evidence with Horizon coming into the game, then a couple seasons later, Ash joins. Or Fuse came into the game, Mad Maggie got a bunch of voice lines, and then she joined the game. And now it may be happening again with Vantage, because her mom is potentially another leaked legend called Scryer. That will probably be coming around season 18-ish. But that's not all. Mila also did just return in the little Apex comics that you get when you get the treasure packs. She just randomly appeared, and it's the first time in a long time that we've seen her just come back into lore. And Respawn doesn't just randomly bring people back. They did the same thing with the reporter Lisa that was talking to Newcastle. She was the reporter that was there for when Forge got murdered by Revenant. Newcastle was the runner-up in the competition that was bringing Forge into the game, so when she was interviewing Forge and Revenant killed him, that was a hint that Newcastle was coming into the game when she reappeared. And you guys thought it was done? No, there is even more evidence. Now, you remember that algorithm that I told you that Mila and Crypto found? Well, in the Season 14 trailer, they had a countdown leading up to things where there are two guards talking, and they start to bring up the prediction algorithm, the same one that Crypto and his sister found out. They've gone all of these seasons without even mentioning that algorithm, so why all of a sudden would they just bring it up randomly before a season trailer? All of the evidence points towards Mila being Catalyst, but of course I'm sure that there are probably some concerns about her appearance. Catalyst model in the leaks is a hot goth dommy mommy type chick and Mila is a redhead. Well, Respawn does like to use placeholders. Just because that's the model then doesn't mean it's going to be the final model. They do change stuff to fit the lore and what they need. Ash went through three character designs before she came to the game. Mad Maggie was once called Tessaria, and Rampart at some point was a guy. So it really isn't that big of a stretch that they would change her model to fit with Mila's appearance. Or they could even explain some way that the experiments change Mila's appearance to make her fit Catalyst's model. The appearance is one of the easiest things for them to change. But with all of the stuff that's been adding up and up 
up and up, there's more and more reason for me to believe that Mila is Catalyst and she will be coming in Season 15. Now there is actually another theory, but it doesn't have as much evidence or credibility either. Another theory is Catalyst is actually someone called Subject Zero. Now Subject Zero is the codename of a test subject that was experimented on by Wraith. Now she did appear in the Season 13 storyline, but other than that, nothing is really known about her. She hasn't really popped up in the game at all, there's not a whole lot of evidence about her, and she really only has a tiny little blurb on the wiki. So the Subject Zero theory does have the Wraith thing going with it, but other than that, there's really no evidence, and Mila has a lot more pointing towards her being Catalyst. But that's where I want to throw this question out to you guys, the community. Do you think Catalyst is going to be Crypto's sister, or do you think it's going to be Subject Zero, or do you think she's going to be a completely new character that we haven't met before? I personally really think it'd be cool to have her be Crypto's sister. I do like that part of the storyline of Apex, so I think it'd be cool to have her join the games. But let me know your opinion in the comments down below. And with all this being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.